Ahoy, everyone. The sun can't make up its mind today. It's been mostly cloudy here in Llano, Texas. Llano, Texas. Llano, Texas. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> Welcome aboard, everyone. As you can tell, I've been uh, mowing lawn today. I got just a little bit more to go over there. That can happen a couple hours from now, and then, then it's done for a couple weeks, maybe. <laughs> I don't know who, actually who will mow it next time. I'm not sure where I will be. Uh, I still want to head to Florida, but that's pretty long trek to do it in a hurry. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm waiting to, for God to tell me. But things have been going well. I, uh, Lily Gypsy Child, God bless her. She put curtains in the in the rig today. So now, not only do I have nice curtains uh, for privacy and for, you know, insulation qualities, they're really nice curtains. Plus, I have a memory of her installing them, but they also are coming out of her precious gem, her little trailer, because she's now upgraded to, you know, she's kind of redecorated gem on the inside, so it's looking really good, and it gives me something. Uh, that's really cool. Diane, welcome aboard. Janice Young, welcome aboard. Nate Dog's here. Linda Barker's here. We're rolling right along already. So, temperatures... Yeah, it's about 69 right now, and this will be about the high that it will be. A um, couple days, it'll get it, it up to 80, but right now, we're still kind of in, uh, I don't know, just partly cloudy or mostly cloudy on and off all day long. When the sun goes behind the clouds, it, you feel chilly, and there's a wind. It's been a breeze all day long, so. But... It's blessings. In my opinion, it's been very blessed. When you think about it, today was a great day to mow the lawn. It wasn't too terribly hot. Although I wouldn't have minded that, but many people would. And sure, it would have took more out of me, probably longer to do it, more breaks, you know, that kind of thing. Whereas today, I was pretty much able to just keep cruising along. I see one from here already, though. You know how you get... Some of those weeds are, oh, well, I chopped that one down. And then after you're done mowing, they come back up. Just like a, <laughs> they, they lay over and you don't really cut them. You just go over the top of them and then they pop back up. There's a couple here and there like that. Uh, what do you do? You know, the money could be spent, but it's not going to. DJs Adventures and Beyond, welcome aboard. We'll get your link up here in a minute. Um, thank you for coming. This is awesome. Georgian is here. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. Love those photos you sent of the eclipse. And we just love you anyways. How about that? <laughs> Somebody just snuck by me. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> All right, let's see. Time to sharpen the mower blade. Yeah, although it is pretty sharp. Um, these, I don't know, to, even with a sharp blade, I've had those where they just, they lay over and they don't. Aw, oh, you're welcome, George Ann. You're, you're amazing with how you did that photography um, for the eclipse at Lake Erie. It was Lake Erie, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, we didn't do too bad here. And, of course, I showed you that one from uh, from Jill, right? <laughs> I don't know what planet she was on, but she was having a good time, I'd say. <laughs> Sonia with a J, welcome aboard. <laughs> is Mark here? All right, yeah, he is. Welcome aboard, Mark. Nancy Drew is here, too. All right, this is great. 
We're cruising right along. <laughs> oh, man. So many blessings. I'm going to kill the roosters. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the chips they got wet they were all in the pot and somewhere along the line i don't know if it was in arizona or if it was here that they got wet but they're not destroyed by any means they're just a little damp <laughs> So we'll deal with it. No, he does not stop, Georgia. I, I found out that there's actually four roosters over there. Now, I've only detected three of them. Maybe the fourth one's a deaf mute. <laughs> but really, I don't know how many hens they have. But typically, a rooster will have maybe a dozen hens that he's in charge of. He'd just as soon be in charge of all of them, but depending on how big your area is, um, the roosters will take care of about a dozen hens, and the other rooster, let's say, takes care of another dozen. So now you've got a flock of 24 plus two roosters. And that usually works out pretty good if you've got a big enough area. Um, any more than that, there's going to be trouble. And part of it is that the roosters are very, very protective of their hens. Um, their can, fights can break out. Well, now, if you've got four roosters, uh, you know you're going to have trouble. Now, when they crow like that, it's because they're like warning that's a warning. They're not, you know, it's not, hello, she laid another egg thanks to me. No, no, no. It's get the hell away from my hens. That's what it's about. There you go. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, well, I think they do lose their voice, Jordan. I was thinking about this earlier today. You know when they're little, little babies at Tractor Supply Company or wherever, and they're just peeping along. Why well, everybody comes in and say, oh, how cute. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I mean, the chicken learns that. The rooster. So all he's doing is imitating all those little kids that were going, I love you. See? Oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a theory. Lately, permission granted. <laughs> now, Lily's saying that I'm repeating myself. She's already heard all this crap today. Just so you know, there's been a few changes to the channel, but traveling content or content, or is it content? <laughs> we'll remain on the channel. Well, good, DJs. It's awesome. <laughs> You're a good one. I know, Sonia. It was needs work. <laughs> <laughs> Nate dog, I don't like roosters because when I was a kid I got chased. You know what? I did too, but I got to where I defended myself. I get in fight with those bastards. <laughs> Volume was all the way up. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sonia. I won't do it again. I won't I won't sing or I won't try to crow. I may have to take my shirt off because he was. The sunshine is all of a sudden bright. I was worried about having enough lighting for the live stream. Now I don't not worried about it now. Whew. I wasn't sweating when I was mowing. Now I am. <laughs> All right, that's better. Oh. <sighs> Pop ups. Lily saying hi to everybody. So the letter is P tonight, by the way. And even though I don't have everybody's chips 
face up and ready to go. There's a few that I kind of sort of know where they are. Isn't it weird that I kind of get used to boost chips or what color? I'd, I'm, I'm surprised at myself, really. There's one. One we haven't seen in a while. <laughs> it's buried. All right. Okay, bugs, that's enough. A proper P word. Yeah, we could figure that one out. Let's see. George Ann Rose has blue chip. Oh, another cool thing tonight. Here's George Ann's. You are in Georgia. Um, no, we're not on the queues yet. <laughs> Wishful thinking on your part, Linda. <laughs> My grandparents rooster chasing. That's how I know they make good chicken and dumplings. Cute. Sonia's in with parsnips. Let's see. Sonia's. May take me a minute, Sonia. I got this big pile here. Linda's chip over here next to Lily's. Lily is going to be in automatically with the word panels. Here in Lily. I was trying to think if you said something with a P word in it today. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Timmy Ray. Where is Sonia's the, the J? Michelle. Nancy Drew. There's Kyle's. Jill's Nate Dogs, Justin Gord, Frank Cancels, Lewis. I think this one's Diane. Nope, that one's not Diane. There it is. Got your son. All right. Oh, a purple chip, you think so? That one's pretty easy, wasn't it, Brene? <laughs> and I know I saw your chip here earlier. It's floating around here somewhere. Do 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 James Catney's There it is the purple chip <laughs> Wow So now tomorrow I'll be probably working on the truck, but I don't know if it's going to be here or if I'm going to move down to Oxbow. I, that hasn't been determined yet. Um, I did check the uh, Lowe's in town, which is a grocery store. They look like they're fully stocked. I don't see any empty shelves. Now, Dollar General has empty shelves, but getting to work for them is like pulling teeth everything has to go through corporate the manager can't just say hey I, you want 40 bucks come in and help me no they can't do that peter pepper oh my god now i'll just might as well throw everybody's chips in now we got enough p words to pee at 
All right. Nate Dog, you've outdone yourself. Where I saw your chip just a minute ago. There's Mega Van Mike's. Hmm. Got company coming, company coming, company coming up the road. Somebody just pulled into the driveway. I don't know who. I hope they're not upset with me doing my live stream right here. I doubt it. Where is Nate Dog's chip? Howdy, howdy. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Where in the world? Nate Dog, I just had your chip up. <laughs> there it is. I found it. Okay. William Brody, Brody, Brody. Percussion. What is it? Percussion, performance, and percussion. Let's see. There's Justin and Christina. James Fetney's. There's Kevin's. He's doing lunch right now. There's Troy's. Carl, oh, William Brody, 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 Brody. Yep. yep. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking for William's chip. Let's see. I bet this is it. What in the world? Oh, it's Domino. He's drinking his water and wagging his tail and he's smacking up against a, a tin thing. There's cookies. Where the heck is Williams? Roy and Becky's. Paula's. William, you got a green chip. What did you do with it? Trailer traveling. Huh. I'm, I must be looking right at it and not seeing it. Here's what we'll do. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Just needs to be darkened up a little bit so I can read your name. Q is going to be a problem. We're having to have to break out good old Webster to look them up. <laughs> Webster's a W word. <laughs> that counts, Mark. Mark must have made a word. I have his chip. Right. So Mark's got one of those that's unique. It's a oddball color. I know it's here. That. <laughs> Yeah, easy for me to say. All right, we'll use Mark's original one. Still have it. His official one is actually sepia, but I found this one the other day. We'll, we'll use it. All right, camp maintenance guys. Who else have I missing? Can't wait for the staples to come out. Oh, you had... Uh, a surgery thing. Well, that's true. Yeah, when you're itching, it is healing. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll up, Nancy. Just just a moment. Pesky P. Nancy is in. 
Ta-da-da. You had to be earlier. <laughs> Procrastinator? Okay, yeah, well, we already got you in, Brene. All right. I don't understand why we're still going to be. Well, for one, I haven't been on for a couple weeks. Yeah, Nate's enough P words for the next month. <laughs> what kind of antibiotics, Mark? <laughs> if I still drank, I could make a bunch more jokes about this, but I won't. <laughs> Post-op appointment to the 22nd. An extra week of staples. Damn. But glad that you are got it over with and it's behind you now. You just got to gotta heal. Got to do what they say and all of that. We finally ran out of Lily's iced tea, so or sweet tea. So actually, this is Milo's. I'm drinking Milo's sweet tea for the first time, and it's quite good. It's just a little on the tart side, but that's okay. Uh, <coughs> thing I like about it, it says it doesn't have any. Uh, Michelle's in with perspiration. I was sweating just a few minutes ago. Sun was out. Now I may end up having to put my shirt back on. <coughs> Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. You are up here, I think. There's Lynn the Okies. Jay Charles. Michelle Leonardo. There you are. You are in. Mark has given everybody free ones. Who wants to be in for free? Linda Barker does. Mark free. <laughs> free is good. You're already in with panels. Purple panels. Thank purple, you very much. Purple panels. Yep. You were actually the first one in the pot. So that means you'll be the first one out. I don't know. I think I'll be the designated winner. There you go. I, I like those odds. <laughs> now, if I accidentally pick your chip, they're going to say it's definitely rigged. Yeah. I won't win today, y'all. <laughs> you be, might. Well. You never know. Even if I do, I'm passing it forward anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> How that works. I'm going to my quarters. All right. We'll see ya. Did you tell them about my new Quarters yet, or yes, you about yes, I did. Right. Yeah, <laughs> she just wanted to make sure I told told everyone about her. She's got new panels. You know, she put new curtains in in gem today, and I got the old ones, so it's a win win. Extra high fire your weedies. Oh, okay. Dang, that's cold. Is it going to snow? <sighs> of course, always put it on backwards. Wheaties. And only take three painkillers out of the 40. Okay. Poop like a champion. <laughs> Like a boss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only on this channel can we, you know, get crazy and make jokes about poop. <laughs> and that's good, Sonia. I know you've had to put up with that for a long time. Now you don't have to. That's a good thing. Here's Michigan Carol. Is she here yet? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> We're kind of catching up. It's a regular thing. <laughs> That's good too, Nancy. <laughs> I kind of, I've learned that I can adjust my biological clock depending on my situation. But by God, when it's time, <laughs> clear the deck. <laughs> <laughs> there better not be anybody in the restroom at the at the rest area. <laughs> yeah, that was uh let's see, I was still in uh Arizona on this trip. Let's see, where was I? It was a rest area a little bit south of Tucson. And I wish I could figure out my hair. But anyway, uh, Linda's in with poop deck. You were already in anyways, on the because Mark had extra words. Far from pooping. That's right, Mark. <laughs> I was hoping you'd come in the other night. Um, but, you know, it didn't matter because Susie wasn't here anyways. But, or no, that was... That was just an iffy. Never mind. Our treasured home. Pumpernickel. That is one of my favorite breads. Oh, and I got to point out to Lily, I found some wild iris. Okay. Where is our treasured home? I think it's this one right here. I'm wiping the moisture off it. Yep. Here you go, Nancy. You are in. <laughs> Fart with a lump. <laughs> yep. Well, here, I, I'm thinking now that everybody's racking their brains for more P words that might have something to do with uh, with pooping. <laughs> Nice dodge. Um, <laughs> I guess I might have to start reading from the book, since how you guys are taking a hiatus from P words. Actually, we've got quite a few in there already. But there's still, I don't know, I think everybody here is in. Okay. For you lurkers who haven't put in your your uh, poker chip yet. Okay, now, I know about blue bonnets. But poke bonnet? What's a poke bonnet? Sharks. <laughs> See, you're right, Nancy. Sharks. Why is a poke bonnet called that? Well, I don't know. This bonnet got its name from the fact that the front of it poked out far beyond the face. A bonnet that did not do so was called a kiss me quick. I thought we we did this one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Ah. All right, porcelain. Maybe this is where we left off. Another pop up. Pistol packing Peter packed a punch. <laughs> Good one, Mark. Okay, porcelain. The word is from the French porcelain and literally means like a pig. The back of Cori shells looks something like a pig's back, and so these little shells were named little pig shells. Chinese earthenware has a white, glossy look like the inside of these shells, yeah, and so it too was given this name. 
So porcelain in French translates to like a pig. Well, that's interesting. I would I would have never thought. She just called it her poke bonnet. Okay. Or her, she called it her bonnet. That's interesting. Firefly Angel. Evening. <laughs> we haven't seen you in a while. Miss moved to London. <laughs> Kind of look and see. I think your chip is floating around here somewhere. It's been a while since we've used it. There's Raven in a van. I am. Hmm. Where is Kelly's? This up. Tell you what, it's going to be it. <laughs> no, not yet, Brene. We we got to do the. We got to draw this in about half an hour yet, and then we'll start making sentences off the uh, ticket. Whoever wins that ticket, working while listening. There. Got you in, Kelly. And for all those who don't know, Kelly's engaged. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what, Mark? If Kobe sees that, he's going to say you left out an I. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to scroll up a second, make sure. Linda says, My husband used to recite a rhyme. Here I sit, broken hearted, paid a dime to shit, and only farted. I remember that one. I think my dad used to say that one. Yeah, yeah, my dad had that one. And his repertoire. Now everyone knows, Callie. It's no longer a surprise because I gave it away. <laughs> Actually, you told us the other day. But I just, might, I figured there might be other people here that didn't know. Um, there's one, somebody we haven't seen in a while. She Devil. She's usually hanging out somewhere. I bet if I didn't if I didn't make an announcement of, as to where I was broadcasting from, and there was a rooster crowing, you would automatically think I was here. <laughs> You're welcome, Kelly. The old firefly angel. Which I like that. What do you call a spider with eight eyes? <laughs> spider. That's cute. That is cute. Troy is here. I think we can put Troy in automatically. We had we had some extra extra p words. Grand Marais, there you are. You are in. All right, pork barrel. How did we call to call that? Well, that. How did we come to call plunder by politicians dipping into the pork barrel? <sighs> and there I was so happy that we didn't hear the P word politician. Oh, well. It was once the custom in country stores to keep available an open barrel of salt pork. You're welcome, Troy. Certain persons of the community would, at times, 
dip into the pork barrel just as they dipped into the cracker barrel and help themselves. And so we came to use the term pork barrel to indicate a common fund of money into which our legislators dip for their own and their constituents' more personal projects. This one makes me sick. But you know what? It's been going on forever. <laughs> oh, well. All right, next, port. What is the reason we call the larboard or left side of the vessel the port side? I know this one. <laughs> the steering oar of ancient sailing vessels was on the right side. Well, as opposed to the wrong, right? <laughs> the opposite or left side was therefore the one laid up against the dock for unloading. This side was nearest the port. And if necessary, it had in it a cargo port or opening. Both terms come from the same Latin root, port. <laughs> well, that's an easy one for once. Meaning opening. The change from calling this side of the vessel larboard was brought about by the confusion often arising out of the similarity of sound between larboard and starboard. Now you know. Lily, you better say hi to, to Troy. <laughs> or come talk to him. He'd like that better. All right, porterhouse steak. Who was the porter for whom the porterhouse steak was named? Well, this might be good. An early New York tavern keeper. The porterhouse was famous for its steaks, but on one occasion ran out of them. So Porter dipped into his larder and took out a large piece of sirloin he'd been keeping for roasting. He cut a piece and broiled it. The steak was found to be delicious. Now you're making me hungry. And was added to the bill of fare as Porterhouse steak. Now you know. Post haste. Why do we use post haste to mean as fast as possible? Because back in the days when all travel was by horse, traveling by post, that is, by public coach, was faster than traveling by private carriage. The owner of a private vehicle had to stop to rest his horses, but post horses were used in relays and the coach kept rolling. <laughs> okay. Kind of like the Pony Express where they just changed horses. The mail kept going. Potluck. What is the reason an impromptu meal is called potluck? I didn't know it was impromptu. I thought it was where Kevin calls us all up. What are you bringing to the potluck? I know what I'm bringing. I'm bringing pirate's fingers. Anyways, potluck. It was once customary for the housewife to have a pot on the fire into which all the scraps of meat and vegetables were thrown. Now, see, I call this hobo stew. She kept the pot boiling, and there was always stew available. But what it tasted like was a matter of potluck. Well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Tonight, we're having roadkill stew. It's a potluck. <laughs> I like it. All right, next is Potter's Field. I'm beginning to wonder if I still have a signal because nobody is saying anything. Oh, Lily did. <laughs> Michelle is home. Yay. Was traffic horrible again? Wait, it's always horrible in Columbus. <laughs> All right, Potter's Field. Okay, where did we get the name Potter's Field? For a piece of ground used as a burial place for a poor person. 
It comes from the Bible, Matthew 27, 6 and 7. After Judas had hanged himself for betraying the Savior for 30 pieces of silver, the chief priest picked up the silver which he had thrown down, cast down. They said, it is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and brought with them and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Huh. The price of blood and brought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Okay. That is interesting. I did not know that. Pound cake. Now this is, I love pound cake. I meant to buy Lily some. As a matter of fact, I did buy her some, but I ate it. Because <laughs> it's so good. I don't know if I'll be able to find it here in this town or not. I did find it. Yeah, I found it on that town that starts with a B. It's like two towns over. There's Mason and then Bar, not Bartholomew, <laughs> Barthsmore, something like that. I did find pound cake there, but I ate it. <laughs> I'll have to buy some more. Um, all right. How did pound cake come to be called by that name? It's because in old recipes for the cake, many of the principal ingredients were listed as a pound of this and a pound of that. Well, that's descriptive. What's in your cake? Oh, this and that. <laughs> hmm, will it kill me? If I eat enough of it, probably. Kevin's here. We can put Kevin in, too. We had plenty of P words, Kevin. Where are we staying? I don't know. That was a cool picture of Piper looking at the uh, uh, thing in the sky. The eclipse. That was cute with her. Laying on her back with her glasses on for the eclipse. That's, that was neat. All right, next, powwow. Why do we call a council a powwow? Powwow is an Indian word. The Indians of the New England coast first used it in referring to their medicine man. Then it was transferred to their ceremonial rites. Afterwards, it came to mean any gathering at all. And they're not even going to bring up the blowing of the shell. <laughs> Which I have, Kevin. Still have it. We can do opening ceremonies for M24. <coughs> but I suppose only if Maria comes. She was the one that could blow it the longest. He made five P-words. Well, I think you're already in, Nate Dog. Yeah, you're in. Um, but we can give them to people that come in afterwards. In fact, Mega Van Mike is here. Mike, you don't need a P-word because somebody else already made one. And Kelly's is in, or Kelly is in anyways, but she just said a word, pristine. So we got plenty of P words for people. Oh, Mega Van Mike, it's actually looking a little more possible that I will be in the Dallas area. But we'll keep in touch. You have my email address, I think. Prestige. What is the origin of the word prestige? It comes directly from the Latin 
prestigium, meaning a delusion or an illusion. The plural of this Latin word, however, means juggler's tricks. <laughs> Those are your P words. Those are good ones, Kevin. But there is a Latin term that more nearly approximates our concept of prestige. Prostingera oculus. It means to blindfold and by analogy to dazzle the eyes. Well, I would have never thought that. You know, for me, prestige means, you know, kind of, I don't know, high fluting or, or well, well thought of perhaps in a community. It's prestigious. I don't know. But if that's what they want us to believe that it's a delusion or an illusion, okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Mark, for putting up Mega Van Mike's link. I appreciate that. Okay. The printer's devil. How did a printer's assistant come to be called a printer's devil? Never heard this one. The apprentice boys of early print shops so often had their faces begrimed with ink that they looked as black as any devil employed to stoke the furnaces of hell. I can believe that because I worked in a print shop. And so they were called devils. The story is told that when Aldous Mana Manutius, uh, the 16th century Venetian printer, oh boy, employed a Negro boy as a helper. The good people of the city became convinced the boy was an imp from hell. Accusations were made against Aldous, and in defense he was forced to publish this notice. I, Aldous Manutius, printer to the Holy Church and to the Doge, have this day made public exposure of my devil. All who think he is not flesh and blood may come and pinch him. <laughs> Poor kid. Good grief. <laughs> well, there's a P word. Mark is going to pop over <laughs> to DJ's adventures and beyond. <laughs> well, at least he's not going to knock you up, DJ. <laughs> there's, there's a story about that. Private soldier. Why do we call a common soldier a private soldier? Because in the early days in England, the men who in, entered government service in any executive capacity, including those who became officers in the army, were said to have entered public life. Others were called private citizens. The common soldier was a private citizen who enlisted or was drafted into service. Since it was presumed that he had not adopted soldiering as a career, he was called a private soldier as opposed to a public officer. In time, however, public was dropped from in front of the word officer and soldier from after the word private. Okay, that makes sense to me, private. We have time for a couple more, yep. Now, if you haven't gotten your P word in, by the way, this ought to prompt you. Instead of a $5 cash word, I couldn't find one when I went to town. It's a $10 cash word. A chance for a little more money. Pushing for 1K. Yep. By the end of the month. I bet you get there, DJ. Especially when you go into people's live streams and kind of announce yourself and it, it's helpful. 
It's very helpful. Patty Noddy. I don't think it's in the book. What the hell is a Patty Noddy? <laughs> you pee every two hours on the dot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm probably close to that two hour thing, too. Excuse me, I gotta go. <laughs> got my own tea makes my pee <laughs> all right next prize ring how did the spot where two prize fighters meet come to be called a ring when it's square that's that is a good i actually think i wondered that a long time ago but i got busy <laughs> the reason is to be found in the history of the rules of the sport Fig, the first recognized boxing champion of England, adopted his own set of rules. These called for a square of eight feet drawn in the center of the stage. Within this square, the rival fighters towed the mark, as it was then termed, or squared off to begin hostilities. Later, Broughton's rules were adopted. They called for a square, a yard across, drawn in the middle of the stage. For every set two, the rule said, the rival seconds must bring their men to opposite sides of the square from where the fighting should begin. Opposite side, okay. Still later, when the contestants were first made to keep the fight within a square enclosure, the rule said there should be drawn in that square a circle five feet in diameter known as the center where contestants shall meet for the beginning of each round. Okay. It is this ring that has given its name to the enclosure in which the boxers meet. That was a long one. Adult night, and we're using the P word. I want to see my pack. <laughs> Lose some weight. <laughs> Please. <laughs> or get a mirror. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Traveling Nate Dog, welcome aboard. Oh, Devil Dog is here. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Oh. Devil dog, devil dog. There's devil dogs. And traveling Nate dogs is. Oh, he's already in. Go. Do we have time for one more? Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Hey, uh, Mark, can you put up devil dogs link as well? Um, and I don't think we put up. Nate dogs yet either. Maybe we did. Proletariat. Wasn't that a horse? Where does the term proletariat come from? From the Latin. Doesn't everything? Proletarius. The name given by the ancient Romans to the lowest class in the community. Really? This class, the historians of that time said, Contributes nothing to the state but offspring. Oh. So were they wishful thinking when they named proletariat the horse proletariat? Hmm. I bet there's some history there. Thank you, Mark. Prude. Why do we call a prissy person a prude? Because the French think of a proud woman as being discreet. The French use the word prude femme, which literally means proud woman, to denote a discreet woman. And we took our prude from this word, 
adding the thought of being overly discreet. Maybe that's why her lips puckered up. <laughs> I don't know. All right, one more. To pull one's leg. What is the reason we say that one person joshing another is pulling his leg? The illusion is to tripping up a man by catching at his foot or pulling his leg. This, of course, makes a man fall, and to see a person fall is considered by comic by all mankind. Yeah, it's kind of a, what, slap, slap dap or slap, slappy, slap humor. <laughs> okay. How many more P words do we have? I see pumpernickel is on the list. Pull up socks, pull up steaks, pop tent. Well, we'll get to those next Wednesday. We have four minutes. James is here. And James is in. Just like that. There was a lot of P words, James. Welcome aboard. We have 22 people on board right now. That is cool. Okay, now we're getting half some. The wind is blowing pretty strong, so I guess I'll leave my shirt on. <laughs> oh, besides the rooster, there's a lot of morning doves around here. A little more than what you normally hear in a the neighborhood. There's, there has to be a dozen pairs of morning doves around here. All going cool, cool. P words, pornography, good one, Kelly. <laughs> well, you want to save that one for next week? <laughs> Another P word is pose. Man, posing for pornography. <laughs> you know, now we're going to get Mark started. And Nancy. Well, people, don't be a bum smash up. Oh, thank you, Mark. James is saying hi to everybody. I got the quarter ready for the ticket. And uh, I got something in my eye. Oh, it's my finger. All right. This can go over here. This is almost ready. And those can stay there. This is uh, the one that when we do the sentence, when we get to about quarter to eight, this will be what we draw for. This is a $5 ticket. But here in a few minutes, we're going to be scratching off a $10 Texas cash word. And hopefully somebody will win some money. That's gambling. <laughs> That's a good point, Michelle. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oops, there goes my pen. Daggone it. Oh. All right. Whew. Yeah. Tomorrow, I don't know what the schedule is totally, but I'm, I need to climb under the truck. See if I can locate where the oil is coming from. Um, I need to uh, go to the lumber yard and make get enough lumber for uh, 
shoring up the bed and maybe making a couple shelves. They don't have to be fancy or nothing. They just need to be functional. And then, you know, perhaps tomorrow I'll be reloading the camper and moving on down to uh, the Oxbow uh, RV park where I stayed last last December. Yeah. From the motor. Like the boss. Thank you. From the motor. Yeah. Pornography only makes you realize how bad you are. <laughs> Good one, Mark. <laughs> All right. Words. Sentences. There's some interesting words on here for tonight's sentence making. <laughs> now, says Diane, have you dated a Texan? I think she might have. I don't know. None of my business. Should I become a Texan real quick? <laughs> Why do I think Diane you might be being set up? Nancy's got the joke behind this somehow. <laughs> but everything's big in Texas. <laughs> Williams at the Walmart. They will all see purgatory. <laughs> They're probably primarily assholes. P is a good P word, or purgatory is a good P word, William. <laughs> Punks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. All right, it's time. It's past time. We got to draw. Shake and bake time. You're right, William. Double dog's a Texan. But I think he's taken, Diane. <laughs> I think Bernay is agreeing with William. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God, Mark. All right. Uh, put that up there. Now, do I have to bake this too? But it would dry out the chips. You're right, Jordan. It was a funny question. <laughs> oh, judging by the size of the hat. <laughs> okay. Shuffling, 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 and I'm shuffling, and I'm shuffling, and the wiener is, I don't know, it is a red chip, and it's for that really funny person, Nancy Drew. Congratulations, Nancy. All right. Now, get these chips over here, because chances are the same people will be getting entered into the next drawing. So I might as well have these just more or less ready without having to search too hard for them. Now we may get some new people coming in that will have a chance to get in as well. That's usually what happens, like with Sea Devil. She usually comes in halfway through the show. Okay, and then Our Treasured Home, Lily, and Kelly. There. We are ready to rock and roll. Got our quarter. Got our notebook to use as a scratching surface. And here we go. The first letter for Nancy Drew's ticket, which is a $10 ticket. 
Where are they? Oh, they're down at the bottom. The first letter is a D. There is a D in podium. There's a D, D, D in admonish. There's a D in palladium. <laughs> Any more Ds? Sure there is. There's a D in degrees. There's a D in ride. You haven't come to the draw yet? You were in. We just didn't pick you. I don't know why. <laughs> Lend has a D. There's three different puzzles on here, by the way. There's a two big ones and a little one. There's a D in bridge. Okay, I think that might be it for the Ds. The next letter is a V. Looking for Vs. I don't see any Vs. Okay, letter number three is an R. There's a lot of R's. Press, rich. Well, okay, there usually is a lot of R's. I don't see any more in puzzle one. Degrees, era, ride, and there's a V in visa. Uh, distract. Tortilla. Heater and nor. Okay, a little puzzle here. Work. Has an R. Bridge has an R. Sharing it with source and tremble has an R. And where has an R. Let me show you the ticket a little closer here. So you got these two puzzles. And then a smaller one. And then at the end, if there is a winner, then there's a multiplier. A little hard to get that multiplier. You have to have matching. <laughs> you know, it's gambling. There's a Dickie V, a man long associated with Kentucky basketball. <laughs> Don't hold back, Mark. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, very puzzling. You're right, Kevin. <laughs> All right. Letter number four. U in podium. And the U is also in palladium. Boy, you're going to be mad if I give you that word, right? <laughs> Looking for U's. And source has a U, dub has a U. Okay, letter number five is a Q. I don't recall seeing any Qs, but it could be. No. All right. So, your first word is going to be tremble, T R E M B L E. And podium, P O D I U M, you crazy flies. <laughs> All right, 
Tremble, T-R-E-M-B-L-E. Linda's going to type these out for us. And Podium, P-O-D-I-U-M. I'll put them on the screen. Now, you can make a sentence out of using those two words. And we'll move on. So there they are. Thank you. Those are the two words. Make a sentence. And we'll get your chip in the pot. The next drawing. If the wind don't blow us away. <laughs> Letter number six is a T. Is a T an item? Spirit and patio share a T. Set and tone. Is a T in strobe? Little has two T's. Establish. Tortilla has two T's. What's that word? A N T I. Anti. <laughs> Can't spell anymore. Heater has a T. Any more T's? Tremble. How are we doing on sentences? There we go. Kelly's got one. And there she is. And there you are in, Kelly. Diane always trembles when she's called to the podium to speak. Let's see. Diane wasn't in the last drawing, so i got to find her chip out here. I know I saw it at one point. Is this it? Yep. Diane's in. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Next letter is an Y. I don't know why. I do know what the third word is going to be. Okay, why, why, why? Why, why, why? Okay, has a Y. Am I missing any Ys? I think that might be all the Ys. Just one of them. Huh. All right. Next is F. Calm down, Mark. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Kevin. President started to tremble at the podium when he saw Monica Lewinsky walking wearing a blue dress. Jeez. <laughs> ah, Mark's got a crazy one. All right, where's our where are V staying? No, oh, Kevin. I saw you earlier. Uh yeah, there you are. And then Mark. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Mark. In. Okay, Devil Dog. See my metal I started tumbling they played the national anthem. That's a very good sentence, Devil Dog. Hoorah! God bless Texas. Where is Devil Dog's chip? There it is. Bingo bango. Nice. <laughs> good one, Nancy. All right. Next is a Z. I think I saw at least one Z in here. Or not. Okay, letter number 10. And after we scratch any W's, you did. Okay, fairy dust. <laughs> You're in. Wait. Podium seemed to tremble when Sally crawled on top of it to do a flip. That's a good sentence, William. <laughs> Sally was one of those thick chicks, right? <laughs> uh, got me started. <laughs> I 
or the podium was weak. That's what it was. W is what we're looking for right now. And I don't, oh, there is one. Work has a W. How and where. And that's it for W's. Okay. Your third word is the easy one. Gem. G-E-M. It's right here. I'll tell you, it's, it's right here. Gem. <laughs> so that's your third word. Linda, can we add that word, please? Tremble, podium, and gem. James has got a sentence. Uh, any two words or all three words, and you get your uh, tip in the pot for the next drawing. And here we go. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> Lily likes Jem because most of you know what her rig, her rig's name is Jem, and Jem got new curtains today. For those of you who came in later after I already talked about it at the beginning of the show, got, Jem got redecorated with new curtains today. In fact, Jem's been getting a lot of new new decorations. But guess who got the old curtains? They are in the windows back here behind me. <laughs> La Fortuna 3.0 has new curtains, and they came from Jem. So... We always talk about memories of different things. Uh, the camper itself came out of the desert, California desert, and there was a plaque in there that I'm going to mount on the wall, but because it came with the camper, in my opinion. It could have been thrown away, but I didn't throw it away. It says, uh, please stop talking while I'm interrupting. <laughs> I thought it was good. Traveling Nate Dog. I didn't see your sentence, but I'm putting you in. There you are. <laughs> you are in. William says, yep. The words, again, are on the screen. They are tremble, podium, and gem. Right over here, under me, uh, right next to Linda. Tremble, podium, Jim, any any two of those three words or all three. All right. Letter number 11 is a B. Now, it takes at least two words in puzzles one and two. Uh, in puzzle three, I have no idea. Oh, game three, yeah, two words. So, all three of these puzzles take at least two words spelled in order to win something. <laughs> but, Kevin, I've like I said all along. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy dust, she's not giving up. If you don't want to see me naked, don't look in my windows. How, how simple can it be? All right. What? Let's see. Opportunity to be comfy and homey. That's right. It's almost there. I got to put up those shelves. And then I got to fix the roof. All right. Let's see if I make sure I'm not missing anything. If I am, somebody yell at me. Okay, William, I tremble at the podium when I see a real gem of a booty. Just shows her mouth. <laughs> William, are you drinking tonight? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where is his thing? William Brody, you are in. Mark says, I was trembling with fear before I had the gem fitted to the end of my <laughs> Come on. Now I would be proud to stand on a podium. <laughs> I think Tuesday is blurred into Wednesday. Or <laughs> where am I? Did I do all the B's? No, I did not. There's one in the word establish. Okay. 
bridge, tremble, and that might be all the bees. Oh, there's two of them in ebb and one strobe. All right, letter number 12 is an L. There's an L in loan. There's an L in, there's two L's in palladium. Polish. Now there's a P word that you don't know what it's about. Is it Polish or is it Polish or? Is it Shinola or is it an ethnic group? <laughs> I don't know. I trembled when I saw the Hope Diamond. It's quite a gem. That's a good one, Nancy. Oh, where are you? There's Michelle's. Linda's. Sonia with a J. Nancy, I must have already put you in. Hey, you're in. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes people do win twice. All right. I think we maybe have all of the L's. Oh, there's one in tremble. Little. Apparently, we don't have all the L's. Aimless. Girl. Lind. And here's one for Lily. Lilac. <laughs> Tortilla has two L's. Establish has an L. Okay. Are we missing any? I think we got them. All right. Next is an O. Podium has an O. Polish. Or is it Polish? Has an O. Sun. Loan. Admonish. Amino. Home. What's that word? Champion. Patio, strobe, tortilla, and okay, coin, and oat, and nor, oasis, midnight at the oasis, sing your camel to bed, <laughs> source, how, I think that's it. All right, next is a C. We are siphon the Bible. Kevin's going to do the same thing. He's just not telling us. Kelly, that's a good sentence. Aw. Aw. That's nice. I like that, Kelly. But I know you're in with the earlier sentence. <laughs> that's great. That is so good. I think she might be excited. Do you think? <laughs> All right. Rich and Chin. District. Coin. Source. All right. Now... Is letter number 15, which is K, and then after this, we'll get our fourth and final word to make possibly make sense with. So, K, where are the K's?
Ask has a K. OK has a K. Work is has a K, and we just spelled one word in puzzle number three, the little one. K. Okay. I think that's it for K's. Double checking. I don't see any more. Okay. Spirit is your fourth word. S P I R I T. Spirit. So we have four words. We have tremble, podium, gem, and now spirit is your fourth word. You can make a sentence using any two, any three, or all four words. Make a sentence and your chip will be entered into the drawing. That will happen at quarter to eight, or quarter to eight Eastern. It'll be uh, quarter to seven our time, uh, where I'm at in Texas. And that'll be for the, a quick one that we can scratch off called 50 times power blitz it'll be fun and then i don't know is uh is nate on tonight we usually say nate at eight but land cloud adventures does anybody know has he got a thumbnail up for tonight all right while well, you guys are busy making more sentences out of those words that Linda just put up on the screen, um, the next letter is I. There's an I in rich, and there's an I in podium, amino, chin, aimless, admonish. Item, patio, spirit has two eyes. It also has an R that we missed earlier. There's an I in him, as in him, male, not the, not, not the song. All right. Uh, distract has an I, girl. Visa and ride. Little. Lilac. Coin. And anti. Establish. Amiss. And stain. Oasis. Bridge. I think that's it for the eyes. Next letter is M. Let's see. Gem spirit was lifted when she got her makeover. That's very true. That's a good one, Lily. Lily. And I think you were in earlier with another sentence. Yeah, you were. Come to think of it. Yeah, you know, I always like the sentences. You know, especially, I don't know. The creativity that goes with it, with, with making these sentences. Michelle, the tears ran down her face as she stood on the podium of Spirit Assembly and started to tremble so bad she fell off. And it's cool that Michelle, she's done this before, she capitalizes those words. So that's cool too. All right, M is the word, word letter we're working on. There's an M in amino and podium. Admonish and aimless. Home and champion. Mesh and palladium. Gem and him. Looking for M. A miss. Okay. And the M's. Tremble has an M. All right. We have three letters left. We have one word spelled in puzzle number three.
Those are good, Michelle. Okay. P. Looking for peas. I think I've seen a couple. Press. Podium. Okay, now we have a word spelled in puzzle one. Podium. Patio has a P. Champion has a P. Spirit has a P. Any more P's? Huh. That's interesting. The only P's seem to be in puzzle number one. I do not see any more. Oh, there's an R that we missed in strobe and girl. There's an I that we missed in tortilla. All right. Second to the last letter is a G. Lynn, the okay is here. There's the words are next to Linda's picture there underneath me. Right over here. Da, da, da. You can make a sentence using any two, any three, or all four. And uh, we'll get your chip in for the next drawing. My spirit trembles when I was walking at the podium when I saw a gem of a stand on a stand in front of me. That's cool. Good one. Ta da! Is G. We're looking for G's. How's our battery? Getting low, but we're going to make it. We have two G's in egg and one G in gem. <laughs> Degrees in girl. We spelled another word now in puzzle two. We have girl. So we have one word spelled in each puzzle. We need two in any. Okay, there's a G in bridge. Double checking to see if there's any more letters that I've missed. I don't see any right off the top of my head. It looks like it. So, a sprite told me to go to the podium and let everyone know. Oh, spirit. Everyone know all the people in the chat are a gem. Mamie Trammell. Love you all. That's precious, William. Thank you. Very, very good. Of course, you're already in, but that's excellent. Excellent sentence. Mark, what does he got? The spirit that they used to disinfect before they fitted by Prince Alfred really stung, but I was all proud to let everything hang loose while I stood on the podium showing my gem. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Next is a J. I don't remember seeing any J's. There is a T that we missed in distract. I'm looking hard for J's. Well, this could be a bummer. All right, we're going to double check now. Press uh, has the E's and S's. Are there any E's and S's? No, we have not had E's or S's. A's? No, I know we haven't. No A's. No N's, right? No. How about an H? Any H's? No. S A E H M. We did have M, but that doesn't help us. The word is item, but we don't have the E. S, S, H, S, E, O. There's an O that we missed in tone, but we do not have the N or the E. Someone may walk the plank tonight. <laughs> yeah, could happen. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. No S's, no E's, no S, no A. There's an L that we missed in lilac. Uh, but we don't have the A. No A's, no S's, no N's. 
no N's, no A's, no S's, no N's, no H. A-S-H, don't have any of those. A-S, no H, no E, no E, no E. Well, there's no sense doing the bonus scratch-offs because we didn't make it to square one. We have the word podium in puzzle one. Um, can't, oh, is it girl? What? Yeah, we have girl in puzzle two, but no other words. And then we have uh, work in puzzle three, but no other words. So this is a bummer. It was a loser. Sorry about that, <clears throat> Michelle. Now, you still have champs. We've got, uh, what, 10, no, we have nine minutes to go, wait, 36, so at 45, we'll, we'll be drawing. Don't know how many Wednesdays I've been here, but I still don't understand what's going on. <laughs> what are the words for the sentences we need to make? <clears throat> when the okay, they are on the screen right over here. Where it says Linda Barker with a funny looking wrench thing. Tremble, podium, gem, and spirit. Any two, any three, or all four make a sentence, and we will get your chip into the drawing. Where is Lynn the Okie's chip? There is Lynn the Okies. So I got it right here waiting for you. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> Poor Mark. <laughs> hey, you never know. And Nancy, I think, has one before, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not a lot. <laughs> you two pop up. Okay. Burr. I almost need to. I, I think I will. Why, why should I suffer? While well, you guys are making up sentences. The diamond was such a gem. The spirit made me tremble. That podium. Your secret sentence. <laughs> That's a good one, Brene. Your secret sentence. Uh oh, what did I drop? Just a quarter. We'll need that in a minute. What have I spilled on myself again? What a slob. <laughs> I think I got used to the Arizona heat. Now I come to Texas and I'm freezing. <laughs> okay. Lynn, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. You're definitely in. You should get bonus points for that. Jill's here. Welcome aboard, Jill. Good to see you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Land Code Adventures posted there's no live tonight. Well, good. Then I can finish them on the lawn. <laughs> I got just a little bit off on the west side of the yard. Probably take me 20 minutes to finish that up. Instead of procrastinating, watching Nate. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Ooh.
if you do the replay, Joe, Mark had a lot of crazy, <laughs> crazy ones tonight. <laughs> he even made sentences out of them. Still managed to make them dirty. <laughs> Oh, you're just listening, Joe? Where are you driving to? <laughs> ah, constant shit. I wish I could come to the UK, Mark. And you never know. Seeing how it looks like I'm going to miss out meeting Susie while she's here in the States, which is going to bum me out. But <sighs> maybe someday I'll get to the UK and make up for it. I guess I'd have to take a ferry, right? I can drive, I think I can drive as far as Nova Scotia. I'd have to take a ferry to Green, no, Newfoundland. Drive across Newfoundland, and then I think Greenland is next. Then what's after Greenland? Iceland? And then Norway, and those places. Look, look who's here. <laughs> it's chilly. <laughs> is, is, is it, is it going to snow? Yeah. You have hair in your mouth. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> I have hair in my mouth. I like too. Lynn's sentence. That yeah, Lynn, Lynn's sentence was cool. Definitely. Oh, you ready for dinner, Dominic? Come on. All right. It is three more minutes to make a sentence. Mega Van Mike is subbed to Devil Dog. So we got, we've got Grand Ray's chip, Linda Barker's chip is still up here, George Ann Rose's chip is still up here, Our Treasured Home, Mike and Sonia, are you not making sentences or have I missed? Is anybody, uh, you thought Mark was U.S.? Not by a long shot. <laughs> They won't let him over here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, everybody is, you know, I must say, as much as we joke around and kid around, the main point is, please have Jesus as your Savior. We can't emphasize that enough. Yeah, they just, <laughs> no, we want Mark to come over and visit someday. We'll have a caravan. He's already got one. <laughs> you know, in, in the United Kingdom, the caravan, that's your rig. Now, here in the United States, when we say caravan, that means you're traveling in a group of campers. So if Mark comes over, We'll have a caravan with his caravan and our, okay, wannabe caravans, <laughs> our rigs. <laughs> All right, one more minute till shake and bake. I could say that Linda used all four words seems how they're right there by her name <laughs> didn't we do that one time <laughs> let's see if we can make a, a, a sentence for Linda I trembled at the podium hmm, I don't know <laughs> thank you Lynn it's the truth stop talking that's my next video I won't, I won't believe it I won't believe it. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I I could say we could go another five minutes because we don't have to worry about posting a link for, for uh, Land Cloud Adventures. So I want to give you guys every chance possible if you're not in the pot 
for a chance to win this and maybe a chance to win more. You never know. I may have to get a trash bag over here. I hope sincerely that everybody has a great evening and great rest of this week. Um, there's a, yeah. I should have a signal. Um, although if I go to the Oxford, as I remember, the signal wasn't all that great out there. So I'd have to come back to town for the Saturday shows, which probably work out just fine. Now, I have not picked a victim, so to speak, or a featured channel yet, but that'll happen. <coughs> Chances are I'll be putting, uh, excuse me, a thumbnail out on Friday for Saturday's show. Just so you know. We'll get back in the groove here now that I'm not traveling at the moment. If I do start traveling again where I'm under the gun, where I have to be somewhere at a certain time, well, then that's what preempted the shows for the last two weeks prior to these two shows, three shows, whatever, um, because I was trying to get here for the um, eclipse and also uh, I was terribly busy trying to get the truck together and the camper on it and get organized and and working and just all kinds of craziness that I just did not have time to do live streams. Paul Honeymoon, Honey Man. I have not heard about that one. You're right, Mark or William. It's it's shake and bake. All right, so I am so sad that all of you did not get in. But here we go. <laughs> I, I bet. Yeah, if Mark can come over. There you go, Mark. That, that is a very positive thing. We, we may wince and moan at your jokes. <laughs> You're right. Community, friendship, and helping your fellow man. That's definitely where it's at. So what color is this chip? White. What color is that? White and blue. Purple. Purple. I think I know who has a purple chip. I know. It's Bernay. Fairy dust. Fairy dust. So Domino's been hearing you rattle that around, and he thinks it's like having some. Boys. So, look, I brought you this to give it to him. <laughs> Put it in there. Domino. <laughs> Here he is. Here he is. Look at oh, this. Oh. Look at this guy. Oops. Look at oh, this guy. Gosh, I got him, Kathy. There you go, Domino. Okay, Captain. That was oh, wait, Domino. That was supposed to be anywhere. Anywhere now, because we're done. We drew, we drew Bernay, and so we'll do her ticket right now. Oh. <laughs> Domino is getting up there in years, but 14. he he's fourteen years old. That's Lily's dog. He's awesome. He's having a hard time with his hip. He doesn't, he's not as spry as he once was, but he certainly is a friendly pooch. They don't get much better than him, that's for sure. All right, here we go, Bernay. Big money. Is Nancy saying it too? All right, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Okay, we got four winning numbers, and you've got. 
five, 10, 15, 20 chances, and then there's three quick shots. So the first winning number the heck? No special symbols, I guess. You're just supposed to match. First winning number is a one. And we scratched off 11, so that's not good. 19 is the next one. And Bernays got a nine. All right. Then the next one is 35. Oh, thank you. Thank you, William. I really appreciate that. 35. Okay, we got 40. Not a match. Okay, the last of the four winning numbers is 32. Let's see if we get something. 58. All right, now we can go a little faster. 22. Not a match. 38. No match. 36, no match. 57, no match. 39, ooh, no match. But, you know, we've got 35, 32, 19, 1. But okay, next is a 0, 8, no match. Sometimes when I do these on my own, I'll... I'll do all the winning numbers and then I'll go real slow on the on the next scratch. Okay. So right now there's a one. So if it's a 19, it's a winner, but it's not, it's 15. So now the next one starts with a three. Well, two chances. Could it be a 35 or could it be a 32? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I answered your question, Lynn. <laughs> they won't let him over here. No, I'm kidding. Mark is United uh, United Kingdom. He is in England somewhere. 37 is what we got. No match. Next is two, and I know that's not going to be a match at all. 28. 30-something. 31. No, we needed 32 or 35. Next is 44. That's definitely not a match. Okay, the last five. A 2, no match. A 24, no match. 51, no match. 3, no match. And 13, no match. All right, last last chance. <laughs> All right, for a chance at twenty five bucks, see what we got. Power twenty five spot, and you're supposed to match two symbols. Okay, we got an armored car and a check. Let me double check about matching. Two matching, two matching, two matching. Yeah, they have to match. And then the other, had there been a money bag, it would have been an automatic. Or 10 times, 20 times, or 50 times. Well, we never got any of those symbols. And we never matched numbers, so that's not good. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> For $50, we have a dollar symbol and we have a crown. Nope. No luck. You met King Charles. That's neat. Good thing Timmy Ray isn't here. He'd tell you he met President Clinton. <laughs> All right. For $100, chip 
What's the next symbol? And it's a star. So I am so bummed. Brene, it's a loser. It did not match any of those numbers. And the bonus, or whatever you want to call it up there, the quick shots, super spots, no matches. So another dead gum loser. I'm sorry, Brene. So, buttons on your underwear. Some pretty birds singing. At least there's no grackles. Those little buggers they sure are loud out there in Arizona. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's so funny that Domino thought shaking the chips meant there was a treat. I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, goodness. Buy better tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, doggone it, Nancy. I I wish we could have a winner tonight. We haven't had a winner in a while. Well, Timmy, I think, was our last winner for whatever, however long ago that was. But, you know, we had fun. Yes, you're right. The purple chip. You know, I'm not, I'm not even going to say it. Because I feel guilty that I have not customized everybody's chips. I have what? Four customized chips. Marks. Wherever it is. I haven't seen it yet tonight. He's got the sepia brown. Fairy dust has a purple one. Sea Devil Adventures has a purple one. Tina has a gray one. And Lance has a uh, turquoise. But everybody else has just a normal old chip, whether it be blue or green or black. <laughs> Boring. Yeah, back to slots. <laughs> I have slots on my phone. You know that gas station in Parker called Terribles? You might have them in California as well. Yeah, there's a slot machine on here. I mean, it's not real money. It's just for fun. But you can earn points for, you know, get a free pop or a candy bar or something like that at the at the gas station. So, you know, get the slot machine fix and maybe win a candy bar. <laughs> He's a moderator for the channel I'm going to next. Full-blown country and a good person. Wow. So that's Honey Man. Can we put up a link, somebody? Linda, can you put up a link to Honey Man? Mark needs it. Does he tell penis jokes, Lynn? <laughs> or vagina jokes? <laughs> Lynn's got a purple one. Not yet, but you will. Remind me, once I finally can sit still long enough to paint chips, <laughs> and this time I want to clear coat them after they've got their color. You know, the color, name, clear coat. Because some of these is wearing off. Lynn's being short with her words. I go see. I go see. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm just putting stuff away here. Let's 
trash like that. Is it over? Yep. Well, almost. I haven't signed off yet. Because they're looking for a link for a British guy. I guess he does country music. Honey Man. Okay, there it is. Pretty nuts. <laughs> so you want me to put some glitter on the uh, marks? <laughs> Paul's got a sense of humor too. Good. Well, I'll have to visit that guy. See what it's all about. Paul Honeyman. I'll write it down. I can't visit right now. I do have to finish mowing the lawn before it gets dark. So I am writing it down. Paul Honey. H-O-N-E-Y man. Okay. Check them out. And I'll be doing that. All right. It is two minutes after the hour. Thank you for being aboard tonight. It's good that we're getting back and on in the groove. Get the family back together. Because I think of you as family as well. Um, you're all wonderful. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> and it's always fun. It's always fun. And you know, we have chances to pray for people as well. And uh, like like Mark said earlier. We're, we're a community. We're, we're friends. We're helping one another. It's all there. That's right, Devil Dogs. Simplify. All right. Fair winds and smiles. And don't forget, may God bless. Thank you for being aboard. We will see you sometime on Saturday. Chances are at noon. <laughs> all goes well. Creeks don't rise. And God willing. All right, good night.